There's so many upgrades, so much merchandise, and so many special experiences to spend your cash on at Disney World. Some might not be the best use of your money, but there are others you really won't regret. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. So what's the best thing you've ever bought at Disney World? Did you splurge on an upgrade that made your trip a thousand times better? Or maybe it was an inexpensive souvenir that you use every single day. Today, we're taking a look at 30 things that will plus up your Disney trip that you definitely will not regret buying. All right, number one on our list, room upgrades. Disney offers plenty of options to spend a little extra cash on your room, from themed rooms like the pirate rooms at Caribbean Beach Resort, or location upgrades like preferred rooms that will get you closer to a resort's amenities, and view upgrades also like water view rooms at the Beach Club or Savannah View at Animal Kingdom Lodge. These special room upgrades are bookable categories, so when you pick out your room, you'll see options like standard room, water view, theme park view, etc. Along with those themed rooms at Caribbean Beach are the royal rooms at Port Orleans. Some upgrades, like preferred rooms, may only cost $30 to $50 more a night, while bigger upgrades like a Savannah view room may come with a $100 upcharge over a standard view room. But booking that special view or a better room location can improve your trip overall if it means you don't have to walk so far to get to restaurants at your resort or if you're planning to spend a lot of time in your room. You may want to get that special view after all. All right, next thing you won't regret buying in Disney World, those Mickey and Minnie ears. Mickey and Minnie ears are a quintessential Disney souvenir and Disney World's the only place where adults can wear mouse ears and it's totally Disney normal. There are so many styles from simple classic mini ears to super colorful and themed ears for attractions, holidays, and more. And you're going to find ears all over the parks and resorts, as well as on Shop Disney, so you can buy some before you even go to the parks. The stores with the largest selection will be the Chapeau in Magic Kingdom, Mouse Gear in Epcot, Adrian and Edith's in Hollywood Studios, and World of Disney in Disney Springs. Now, will you regret buying 20 pairs of ears? Maybe, but that one pair of ears that you wear around the parks, you probably won't regret it. And remember, you can always get those Mickey ears personalized. So if you have a new baby or if it's someone's first visit, it's always fun to get those personalized Mickey ears with their name on the back. All right, the next thing you won't regret buying in Disney World, at least we don't think you will, Magic Bands. So Magic Bands are a less expensive way to customize your family vacation, and they let your kiddos pick out their own style. Magic Bands serve as your park ticket and room key and are a lot more convenient than carrying around a card. If you're staying at a Disney resort, you can upgrade to specialty bands with fun designs or pick up solid color bands for even cheaper. Come January 2021, Magic Bands will no longer be free to resort guests, so you'll need to use one from a previous trip or purchase a new one. You can also buy Magic Bands from Shop Disney or in the parks. I've even found some on Amazon as well, and you can find a larger selection online there. Once you get home, those Magic Bands can double as Christmas ornaments, and some people have found some really creative, crafty uses for them, so you just gotta use your imagination. But it's a great way for your family to customize your own style for not too much money. All right, the next purchase you won't regret in Disney World, splurging on a special occasion dinner. Planning a special night out to celebrate a birthday, anniversary, or other celebration is a great add-on for a lot of people. Now, any restaurant can be a special occasion, but if you're looking for something a little more unique to Disney or more fine dining, we'd recommend Cinderella's Royal Table in Magic Kingdom. You know we're a one and done with Cindy's, but if you've never been there and you've never eaten in the castle, then it's definitely a good celebratory event. And don't forget, you can also get those special add-ons there, like the champagne package and there's a proposal package I think <laughs> there's also the white chocolate glass slipper which is white chocolate it's not glass but you can usually get that at Cinderella's Royal Table so if you're headed to Cinderella's Royal Table call Disney and see what add-ons you can add on all right also in the fine dining arena Jico at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House California Grill over at Contemporary Resort Topolino's Terrace at the Riviera Resort that's a character meal in the morning and fine dining in the evening Morimoto Asia in Disney Springs is another one of our favorites several of the 
specialty, what they call signature restaurants, are not open right now, but you can definitely go to California Grill, Narcusi, Cinderella's Royal Table, Morimoto Asia. Those are all open right now. All right, the next thing you got to get you won't regret is limited edition merchandise. You only have a short time to get the limited edition merch that Disney puts out for special events like ride openings or park anniversaries, and of course those holidays. They're a great way to commemorate a special event that you were there for. Sometimes there's even shirts or pins and things that say, I was there. If you visit during the holidays, Disney has a whole bunch of special holiday clothing, popcorn buckets, and so much more that you're not gonna see again until the following year. And you may not even see the same thing. So that could be a one and only time to pick up that stuff. All right, the next thing you're not gonna regret buying, a poncho when it rains. Sometimes you forget your rain gear and you need to pick some up so you can keep going about your day. Now here at DFB, we're always telling you, remember to bring your poncho with you. Remember to buy that less expensive poncho before you go to the parks than having to spend, you know, they were $11 the last time I bought one. They may be $15 now to get those ponchos in the parks. But if you don't have anything and it's pouring rain, then it's probably worth getting the poncho. It can be a cute souvenir too. And don't forget, a poncho or umbrella might mean you're not late to your dinner reservation or you're not stuck in a store until the storm passes. Rain gear in the parks is expensive, so we'd always recommend buying it back home. But if you're in a pinch, you're not gonna regret getting it. All right, the next thing you won't regret buying in Disney World, photo pass or memory maker. You're gonna want pictures to remember your Disney vacation, right? So why not have them taken by a professional? If you purchase a memory maker package, you'll get all of your ride photos and any photos taken by a PhotoPass cast member. Especially since cast members can't take a photo with your phone right now, they're not allowed to touch your personal belongings, you'll still be able to get all of your photos if you use PhotoPass and Memory Maker. Now, is it expensive? Yes, it is absolutely expensive. So if you'd rather just take selfies or see if someone else in the park can take your picture, go for that. But if you wanna kind of set it and forget it and have all of your photo memories already sort of loaded digitally, into your account, then it's probably a really good purchase. All right, the next thing you won't regret buying in Disney World, unique tours. Disney offers lots of unique tours and experiences. Some are pretty unexpected, like a safari or scuba diving experience. These are usually full day, several hundred dollar experiences and shorter and less expensive options like the behind the seeds tour through Epcot's greenhouses. But there's lots to choose from and I've never regretted one that I've purchased. All right, number nine is tickets for hoop de doo review. You go here for the show and the classic Disney experience. Every Disney World fan should go at least once to see a show that's nearly unchanged since it first opened in 1974. Now, Disney is not running hoop de doo review right now, and we just got word that several of the cast members for hoop de doo were laid off. So we're not quite sure when that show's gonna be reopening, but it would be very surprising if it didn't reopen altogether. So we'll keep an eye out for it and we'll let you know in those latest news videos. Next thing you're not gonna regret getting in Disney World, a souvenir mug. This is another useful souvenir. Every time you drink your morning coffee, you're gonna remember your trip. You'll find mugs in nearly every merchandise store around Disney World, but World of Disney and Disney Springs will likely have the largest collection. Another similar one to that, the Christmas ornament. That's another way to commemorate your trip. Create a collection of past trips on your Christmas tree. Ye old Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom or Days of Christmas in Disney Springs will have the largest selections. But around the holidays, you can absolutely find Christmas ornaments in just about every large shop in the parks. All right, let's talk popcorn buckets. Buy a popcorn bucket at the beginning of your trip and get $2 refills basically forever. Disney says it's for the length of your stay, but we've brought popcorn buckets back later than that, and we've been able to fill them. Popcorn buckets are some of the most in-demand limited edition items in the parks, and you're gonna find holiday-themed buckets, character and movie-themed buckets. Keep an eye on DisneyFoodBlog.com to see the latest ones available in the parks, but they come out every season. All right, next thing you're not gonna regret, buying in Disney World extra clothing if it gets cold. Florida does get cold and it can catch you off guard if you head to the parks while the sun is out and you're in shorts and sandals. If you didn't pack correctly, you may wanna pick up something more weather appropriate when it gets chilly at night or those cold snaps in the morning. There are plenty of hoodies and sweatshirts and spirit jerseys for sale if you need an extra layer. And yes, they're expensive. But again, this is a usable souvenir that you can bring home and remember your vacation by. 
All right, let's talk sugar number 14. You might not eat a lot of sugary treats when you're at home, but there's something special about eating just a bit too much candy or cupcakes in Disney World. You're on vacation in a place filled with awesomely delicious sweet treats. You might not have a cheat day at home, but at Disney, give yourself a little leeway if you can handle it appropriately because we really don't think you're gonna regret it. There are so many good things to have in Disney World. And of course, we're Disney Food Blog, so we're gonna share all of them with you. Number 15, resort refillable mugs. If you drink a lot of soda, a lot of coffee, you might benefit from picking up a refillable mug to use during your stay. You get free refills all week at your resort. If you're far from your resort's refill station or they close early, you might need to stay on top of using it to make sure you get your money's worth. But if you're a big soda drinker, this can save you big bucks. All right, I love this one, the Lego minifigure. You can get your very own likeness in Lego form at the Lego store in Disney Springs. It costs just $11.99 to build and accessorize your little Lego self. Number 17 is a special dining event. If you want something a little more unique than a dinner out, keep an eye on Disney's special dining events. Wine tastings at Jico are a favorite of ours. Just $30 gets you a midday break with a sommelier where you'll taste three South African wines. Or try an afternoon tea at Grand Floridian for a multi-course tea service with optional champagne. All right, number 18, things you're not going to regret buying in Disney World, the dining package during Epcot performances. This is a big one, you guys. Epcot festivals usually mean musical performances from pop singers, Broadway stars, and the Holiday Candlelight Processional. These performances fill up fast, but if you purchase a dining package, you don't need to worry about securing a seat. And since you're likely dining somewhere during the day anyway, it's basically just an added perk. So be sure to reserve a dining package on the day that you want to go to whatever event is happening over there at the America Gardens Theater, and you will be guaranteed a seat. All right, speaking of Epcot, let's talk scavenger hunts. Epcot festivals also mean scavenger hunts. They're both a fun way to spend your day searching around World Showcase for clues and an opportunity to get a little gift because the winners all get a special reward. Scavenger hunts cost $7.99. The holiday scavenger hunt this year is Olaf's holiday tradition expedition over there in Epcot's Festival of Holidays. All right, the next thing you're not going to regret buying in Disney World, the first haircut at Harmony Barbershop. Your kid's first haircut is a big deal, so why not celebrate it at Disney World? Right at the front of the Magic Kingdom is the Harmony Barbershop, and while adults can get their hair cut there too, they specialize in first haircuts for kiddos. Kids can get an ear hat and certificate to commemorate the experience. It's a super cute deal, you guys. Very fun, adorable, and you'll probably be talking about it for a long time. All right, number 21 is artwork. Looking for another unique souvenir you can enjoy every day and remember your Disney trip by? There are several galleries around Disney World to pick up some artwork to decorate your home. From smaller prints of classic Disney animation to one-of-a-kind pieces from Disney artists, you've got plenty of options. Number 22 is those tiki mugs. Now, a lot of you might not know what I'm talking about, but Trader Sam's has some fun ceramic tiki mugs that you can purchase to take home and relive some of those tropical vibes. Now, Trader Sam's, for those who don't know, is over there in Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. It's not open right now. We can't wait till it opens, but we'll keep you updated. It'll probably be after that resort finishes its refurbishment. Now, these aren't your standard souvenir cups, though those are fun too. These are mugs themed to specific drinks and even Halloween and Christmas themed mugs as well. So stay tuned and find out what's available when you're there so you can pick those up. All right, number 23, some of you might not agree with me on this one, but I'm going to say it, lightsabers and droids. If you're a big Star Wars fan, you won't regret buying the ultimate Star Wars souvenir. At Savi's Workshop and Galaxy's Edge, you can build your own lightsaber by picking out hilt pieces and a kyber crystal in an incredibly immersive experience. Lightsabers are about 200 bucks each, but if you want something a little less expensive, you can build your own droid at the Droid Depot. Pick from our units or BB units and customize them in your favorite colors for $99. Okay, number 24 is Tables in Wonderland. If you're an annual pass holder, Disney Vacation Club member, or Florida resident, you have an option to purchase a Tables in Wonderland card during most of the time. It's not available right now because nothing's available right now, but most of the time you can buy a TIW card, which will get you a 20% discount on food and drinks, including alcohol, at restaurants and lounges around Disney World. Now, we've, of course 
crunched the numbers on this many, many times, and it's always been worth it for us. So if you frequent the parks and eat a lot of sit-down meals or visit a lot of lounges, definitely crunch the numbers for yourself and see if it makes sense. All right, let's talk minivan trips. If you need to get somewhere fast or you're traveling between resorts for a dinner reservation, paying for a minivan ride can be a big help. Prices start around $25 depending on where you're going in Disney World, but you'll be driven by a Disney cast member in a private car equipped with car seats for little ones, something standard ride shares usually don't have. It's a Lyft partnership, and it's not running right now, but standard Lyft and Ubers are running if you need to get somewhere in the near future, and that can definitely be a good purchase as well. Time is money in Disney World, so you don't want to get stuck waiting on Disney transportation if you're on a tight schedule. All right, number six thing you will not regret buying in Disney World, an annual pass for one person in your party. This is an interesting one. We've broken it down on the channel before, but if you're going to Disney World two years in a row, you can get an annual pass for just one person person in your party and use the accompanying discounts on hotels and dining to benefit your entire group for both trips. You just need to make sure you're kind of going the week before in your second year so that it still falls within that annual pass year. You don't need to visit Disney World 10 times a year to make an annual pass worth it. Time out those trips so they fit into that one year period. Make use of those discounts. Disney runs up to 40% off discounts on hotel rooms for annual pass holders, and you'll get 10% food and merch discounts as well. So that can be a super, super great deal for your family if you're going for two years. All right, number 27, the Twilight Feast. The Twilight Feast is the most amazing room service option we've ever seen, and you can only get it if you're staying at the Polynesian Village Resort. It's the whole Ohana dinner menu, but served right in your room. You won't get all you can eat pot stickers and noodles, but it's 60 bucks for an incredibly large portion of those things that can easily feed two people. It's a great deal and one we would never regret buying. Don't forget, if you get the Twilight Feast, you do get that Ohana bread pudding, but there's no ice cream, so you can always order a pint of ice cream along with your room service meal. All right, number 28 is that park hopper upgrade. We may see park hopping come back in 2021, fingers crossed. And for a lot of people, it's a great purchase. If you're on a short visit or you just like to have a lot of options, park hopper tickets let you visit any and all Disney World parks in the same day. Spend the morning in Magic Kingdom and go to Epcot for dinner or complete the four park challenge. Now, park hopping is just an add-on to your regular ticket. It's not hard to get. You can even add it on when you get to the park. So consider it and either buy a ticket with it already on or add it on when you're ready to start park hopping when you are at the parks. Number 29, dessert parties. If you're a big fan of nighttime shows and fireworks, you might want to add on a dessert party. You won't need to worry about snagging a spot an hour plus in advance of the show. You'll get seating or a viewing location set aside for you, and you'll enjoy a dessert buffet before the show begins. This is a good one for a special occasion celebration as well. Now, dessert parties are not running at the moment. We do believe they will be back because I think Disney makes a lot of money on those. So we'll let you know when they return, probably when fireworks return. And number 30, the number 30 thing that you will not regret buying in Disney World, Magic Kingdom holiday party tickets. Magic Kingdom typically hosts both an after hours Halloween party, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party, and Christmas party, Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Both were canceled for 2020, but hopefully they will be back next year. At these events, you'll get lots of specialty party snacks and entertainment that you really can't see or experience any other time, like parades, special shows, and fireworks. During the Halloween party, you can trick or treat and get a bunch of free candy. And during the Christmas party, you can go get endless cookies and hot cocoa and eggnog and apple cider and lots of other holiday things that are all included in your party ticket. So it's a really fun time. It's a good deal. And I buy tickets every year. So everything on this list is something that we here at Disney Food Blog recommend and have personally enjoyed. It's the stuff we don't regret buying. So we hope we're giving you the right advice. Do you agree with our list? Is there something better that we missed? Let us know in the comments and share your favorite Disney purchases and upgrades. Thanks for listening, you guys, and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.